Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the Maclaurin series for this function. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this one, we are going to make use of this series here. So to do this, we are going to we are going to make use of um, of this. So uh, so looking at this, so so looking at our function, uh, our our function here is very similar to uh, to this, except that here you've got plus x and here you've got minus x squared. So so this thing here is very similar to this. So uh, imagine imagine this as being as being like this. So now you've got one plus something. So now you've got one plus something. So uh, so put this um, put this negative uh, negative x squared into here. So uh, negative x squared into here. So what that means is it will translate to minus x squared minus x squared minus x squared and so on all the way to infinity. And then uh, and then what that also means is that this this thing here will be minus x squared. So uh, so this thing here can be represented by by this. Um, so so that will that will then take us to uh, to to here. So now it's just a matter of tidying this up. So to tidy this up, so uh, so to, to tidy this up, imagine imagine minus x squared as being uh, negative one times x squared, and then you've got to the power of n. Then you've got to the power of n. So now, uh, now this will become n to the power of n. So that will then take you to here. So from here, that will then take you to here. And then, uh, and then now, uh, same base, same base. So you can simply get this, add this. That will then give you, that will then give you two n minus one. So this plus this will then give you, will then give you this. And then uh, here you've got x squared to the power of n, so get this times this, that will then give you this. So now um, now looking at this, looking at this, this is always, um, th this is not always a, an odd number. So n, n is, well, th the minute you see this, you should by now be able to recognize that this is an odd number. So, uh, so minus 1 to the power to the power of an odd number will always be negative. So this will be neck will always always be negative negative one. So negative one, so you can take it out here, that will then give you this. So this whole thing here simplifies to this. Now if you want to you can turn it back into this uh, into a series. So turn it back and it will give you this series here all the way to infinity. Remember our uh, our series is valid going back to here Going back to here, um, going back to here, our series is valid when our bubble here is uh, is greater than the negative one and less than or equal to one. But don't forget our bubble here is negative x squared. So what that means is it's valid when when our bubble here, our bubble here is negative x squared, uh, and then so so it's valid when this is true. So it's valid, it's valid when when so it's valid. When this is true, and then if you look at this here, draw a graph of y equals negative x squared. That will then give you something like this, and then uh, and then the one will be here. Negative one would be would be uh, here. So it's valid from here to uh, to here. Which well, this thing here translates to uh, the more, uh, absolute value of x less than one. Okay, so so it's valid. Uh, or when when this is true, so uh, so if you get a graph plotter, plots uh, the the red line here represents our original function, the blue line represents our Maclaurin series. Take it all the way to infinity. Slowly, this blue line will map on top of the red line. Remember, only valid uh, in between negative one and one. Okay.